On this episode, we're looking at something brand new for this channel. It's gonna be my first ever EUC, the Inmotion V10. So let's check it out. Right, so exciting, exciting time. So this is the the in motion v10 now i've been riding boards for about four years now at this point and this is the first wheel that i've ever had i've had glimpses and goes of uh other eucs in the past but i reached out to in motion and they have sponsored this video now if you don't know who in motion are they are like one of the greatest kind of euc companies out there with a really nice diverse range of wheels and when I spoke to them I said to them about my e-skate history and I'm curious of trying a new wheel now with Inmotion they said they would send me for a review the Inmotion V10 so this is a sponsored one with them and basically I'm going to be recording my journey on my first ever wheel but comment below if you think there's any other better starting wheels out there but, but to be honest in the community and everyone out there said this is probably the best EUC wheel to start off out there so let's have a look at the specs quickly so the specs saying it's 90 to 100 kilometers range we will be testing that at some point max speed 40 kilometers an hour payload payload sorry 120 kilos really excited to see what this is going to be like first ever wheel let's just get ourselves started Enough tape on this thing, geez. So just before we continue, I want to say a big shout out to E-Rides, um, which are an electric vehicle based um, company based here in London who helped arrange um, this review unit for me. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much for your support. So with E-Rides, they are a specialist personal electric vehicle company based here in the UK, based in London. And basically they have electric unicycles, um, as well as scooters. They also have a second hand market as well. So if you're looking to get yourself your first PV and you don't want to spend full whack, they also have the second hand market would be a really good thing to look into. But we're gonna go and meet up with them at some point. So stay tuned for future videos where we can go in, know, see more about uh, E-Ride and learn about what they do. But thank you so much for your support, E-Rides. Got paperwork, warranty. What are these? Oh, I think I know what these are. These are, are like little cushions to the inside of your leg. So we fit in those at some point. Groundbreaking moment. Yep, UK plug. It's always great to see when you open up a new uh, PV and they've got the plug ready for the country. It seems fun in the UK, we always miss that. What's in here? I'm guessing this is the charger. Now from my uh, research, I've heard that um, EUCs have really dinky chargers. It's quite strange because they normally have the like large batteries out of everything. So we'll see what this is. 2.5 amp. 
Oh, it's a bit small to be honest. I wonder if they do a fast charge. If they have, I'm going to put a comment uh, down below. But it's a 2.5 amp charger with the pin. But then the thing is with a smaller charger, yes, it doesn't charge as fast. However, with a smaller charger, you can, um, it's lighter to carry around your bag. I remember this is like the same scale as my GTR charger. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit smaller ampage, but you can put this in your bag and you won't even feel it. So having a lightweight option is nice. Hopefully they've got a fast charger as well, which we'll look into as well. If there is, I'll put a link down below. Um, but yeah, 2.5 amp. Okay, it needs to be a little bit larger in my opinion, to be perfectly honest. So hopefully there's a fast charger. But sticking your bag, you can always carry your charger with you. Nice lightweight option. Styrofoam in the bin. Right, here we go. Let's get the wheel out. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not too bad. Right, let's go whack this onto the table. tried to film this almost four times with so it being out of focus uh, you're not bad to see me or it's too windy so I hope this is the last time I have to film this about the board, the uh, EUC specs so I've got memorized by heart now because I've done it so many times so we start off with the battery now the battery is a 20s four peak configuration uh, boasting about 63 miles in range um, overall distance now it'd be interesting to see what kind of specs we get from that ourselves me being over 100 kg as a rider and also like to ride quite aggressively uh, be interesting see what range we get from this wheel but it's going to be a steady progression journey because obviously I've got to learn how to ride a wheel first. Another feature I talk about is that the wheel itself on the outside has LEDs that spiral on the outside. That's a nice little safety feature which one thing I really wish more PVs had as standard incorporated lights. I've said this on previous videos before front light, rear light and LEDs on the side. What else could you want from a new seat? As long as your EC has that big battery and has the power you'll be safe at night. So that's a nice little feature. Uh, the handle is a really, really nice handle as well. It does fold up nice and high, so it's nice extendability, so it's really good to have that. So what, for me, who has like a boarding base background, when you're kind of cruising um, into town and you're going to the shops, it's really great that you can just kind of extend this handle and almost wheel it, shopping trolley around the shops. That's a really, really nice feature. And what's good about that is that you've got a really nice, comfortable living experience that I haven't had before. With the big boards that I ride, they're almost a pain in the ass when you're taking them out into like Sainsbury's, buying your groceries and then trying to lift this big tank around. This, nice and easy, just cruise it around, no issues at all. Other features I really like, I like the pedals, they seem to hold this place really, really nicely. The wheel is a nice size and a weight as well, so when you lift it up, it's manageable. It is heavy, it is an EUC, um, but compared to other um, PVs I've had in the past, it's a nice balanced weight and with the ha handle, cruising around nice and easily um, but anyway that's the summary of the specs of the EUC if you've enjoyed this video drop a like below and comment is there any other EUCs you'd recommend as a first starting wheel or would you agree this is probably the best wheel I could start with learning with my EUC journey but anyway so thank you so much for watching subscribe for more content it comes out on a weekly basis and I'll see you on the next one